Hi, my name is Ilya Benish, and I'm a carpenter at the Cold Climate Housing Research Center, NREL. And I just wanted to point out something that we often have to do in the field, and it uh, may simplify a job for somebody down the road. And we're often in uh, pretty remote locations, and we have to move heavy timbers or steel beams across tundra or rocky, uneven soils. And dragging something like that um, may require a winch, a chainsaw winch, um, a four-wheeler, could be any number of things. But as you can see, an I-beam is going to get caught on roots, it's going to tear up sensitive soils, and it's just going to have a lot more friction and opportunities to get stuck. And so we had a flash of insight, and what we did is we took one of these otter-type sleds these are a very durable sled. It's a high density plastic, about a quarter inch thick. They're uh, ubiquitous all over Alaska. Any place uh, people have snow machines, they use a sled like this to tow equipment behind it. And eventually these sleds wear out, and that's how we got this one. It had already started to crack in the back. And so what we did is we modified it into a uh, beam towing skid. And we simply took a jigsaw and cut the bottom back here out of the sled and we have uh, towed logs up to 40 feet with this and we've towed a 2,000 pound I-beam 40 feet long with this guy. So compared to those timbers and the beam, this is pretty small, but it'll, you'll get the idea. The key here um, is to cut out the back and then right in the center in the front here, we've drilled about an inch and a half hole it's just big enough to feed our chain through. And you can see here on this I-beam, we've got a choke right around the beam. And then our chain just feeds right through the front of the sled. So as soon as we put tension on it, it basically forces our beam right against the front of the sled. And then the sled does all the work and drags out over the uneven ground. And it's a pretty good way to go. I'll fire up the saw here and We'll watch it in action. stumps and roots and everything else and uh, hasn't slowed me down one bit. So hopefully this little tip will be useful to somebody else. Thanks for watching.